see these things, these fins right here? Throw them out. Oh, I want something just like this. What is up? Guys, BT back here again with another review. Today we are gonna be looking at Fitbit's first attempt at stepping into the Bluetooth wireless headphone game. And that is with the Fitbit Flyers coming in at $129.99. Fitbit is already killing the wearable tech game as it is, so I was very excited to see them bring that fitness knowledge over into the headphone arena. So how do these stack up against the top dogs in the workout arena, the Jaybirds and the Bozes of the world? Let's find out today. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more quality content like this. Trust me, I got a lot more reviews coming. All right, so let's talk about the comfort and design. In the box, you're gonna find the headphones, a carrying pouch, the standard wing tips, and they also have added in these fins that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. The earbuds themselves have a nice feel to them. The materials that they use, the cord, to the metal accents on the side of the earbuds are all real standouts to me. The remote feels similar to the Beats X, but a little bit more solid feeling and less movable parts. It has the press play button, it has the volume up and down rocker as well. At first sight, these looked like the long lost little brother of the Bose SoundSport wireless. And I thought that they would fit similarly, I thought they would fit kind of the same, but they are completely different in the way that they fit into your ear. These use the standard silicone tips that you just press into your ear canals, unlike the bows that just sit outside of your ears. They then use these fins to go into the crease of your ear. I found these fins to be just absolutely horrendous. And I almost gave up on these headphones when I first got them. Almost immediately, I almost wanted to just pack them up and ship them back. But I calmed down, took a breath, I looked into the box, and these wings are the saving grace of these headphones. And I think that they should just throw out the fin idea because large or small, these just do not fit well. And I would imagine, unless you have a very specific ear shape, that these will fall out for you too. With the wings though, they are some of the most secure and comfortable headphones on the market right now. I kid you guys not. I can work out with these and maybe adjust them maybe a few times and that's all I need. Fitbit also integrated a cord shortener on the back, but I found that this causes more friction and leads to the earbuds falling out as opposed to just leaving the cord hanging on your neck. So these are the perfect workout headphones in my opinion. As far as fit and comfort goes, let's see how they fare in the sound round. Sound, boy oh boy. Let me just tell you guys, you don't even need any custom EQ profiles for these. You don't need any fancy apps, no nothing. These things fly out of the box. Fitbit flyer, fly, get it? Just incredible is what I'm trying to say. They have two modes. Their signature mode, which is incredible right out of the box. It's balanced, it's very warm. Listening to guitar strings is an absolute pleasure with these headphones. Mints are a little bit more laid back in this mode, but still the clarity is there, even in the highs. And this signature mode is what I use most of the day. Then when I want a little bit more of a bass boost for that emotional charge in the gym, I switch over to their power boost mode. And you do this by just pressing the up and down volume buttons at the very same time. This in turn will bring up the lower end, including the bass and bringing up those mids, making them more forward and making them an absolute snack for your songs with vocals. You can tell that they made these headphones with workout enthusiasts in mind. I pushed through my cardio with ease. They worked great on my bike, on treadmill. They worked well on Stairmaster. They worked well with doing dynamic jumps. All of the above, just perfect. Oh, and did I mention that the sound stage is absolutely bonkers. Best sounding earbuds that I've had the pleasure of trying out by far. Artists like Major Lazer, Chris Brown, SZA, Mumford & Sons, all just sound super mind blowing with these earbuds. One thing I could see people asking for is more volume, but these do get loud enough to block out most noises in a gym during rush hour, which is when I go. The connectivity is solid as f No interruptions to be seen with these, no lag when watching YouTube videos. The distance on these is really good. Again, 
they made these with workout enthusiasts in mind. And as you guys know out there, we like to keep our phones in our bags, in our gym bags, or off to the side so that it's not bouncing around and falling out of our pockets during our workout or our exercise. So having that stable connection is a must and these things deliver. Battery life, I got a solid eight hours of battery life. I love the voice prompts that they give you. For example, the Fitbit lady will come on and say, less than 15 minutes of battery left. So there's no surprises when you're in the middle of your workout and you just hear music cut out when it looked like you had two hours of battery life on the little battery icon on your phone. The base boost mode does drain more battery life. Keep that in mind. I got about six to seven hours using that mode. So keep that in mind if you are gonna use it. Now the call quality, I'll let you guys decide what you think of it down below. All right guys, so we're checking out the sound quality on the mic. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the call quality, all right? All right, so disregarding that Finn fiasco, I just wanna forget all about that, that I encountered when I first got these headphones, switching to the wings made these headphones my favorite workout headphones of this year. They combine security, comfort, and amazing sound for a winning recipe. If this is how they're coming out of the gate with their first edition of these headphones, I'm excited for Fitbit's future in the Bluetooth wireless headphone game. Fitbit, amazing job. These are a must own in my opinion if you work out. They definitely get the BT seal of approval and I'm so glad that I picked them up and that I tried them out. Yeah, and I cannot rave about them enough. Just throw away those fins. All right guys, so thank you guys for watching. That's all I have for you today. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed and sub if you loved. And I will see you guys in the next video.